The Iskander, Western reporting name SS-26 Stone, short-range ballistic missile is a successor to the Oka, SS-23 Spider, which was eliminated under the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces, INF, treaty. It was first launched in 1996 and was initially designated by the West as the SSX-26. At the time of its introduction it was considered the most advanced missile of its kind. The Iskander M missile system was officially adopted by the Russian army in 2006. This system can use different types of missiles. In 2013 it was reported that five types of missiles were available for Iskander, and three more missiles were still under development. As of 2019 Russian army reportedly operates 136 of these missile systems. At least one launcher was deployed in Syria. It is believed that some systems are stationed in Belarus. In 2016 downgraded Iskandari ballistic missiles were delivered to Armenia. It was the first foreign sale of Iskander missiles. Armenia reportedly obtained 25 units. In 2017 Iskandari systems were delivered to Algeria. This country operates a total of 48 launchers. Some countries, including China and South Korea, introduced their own clones of the Iskander. Ukraine is currently developing an equivalent system. The Iskander Road mobile missile system is equipped with two short-range ballistic missiles, which substantially increases firepower of missile units. Each missile can be targeted independently. These missiles are capable of hitting moving targets, as target coordination can be adjusted while the missile is in flight. The Iskander has several different conventional warheads, including cluster, fuel air explosive, bunker busting and electromagnetic pulse. It can also carry nuclear warheads. Maximum range of fire is 280 km for the Iskandari downgraded export version and 400 km for the Iskander M Russian Army version. Minimum range is 50 km. In 2013 it was reported that five types of missiles were already developed for Iskander and three more missiles were still being developed. The Iskander was designed to overcome air defense systems. This missile travels at supersonic speed. In the terminal phase of the flight it excessively maneuvers and releases decoys. In some cases this ballistic missile can be used as an alternative to precision bombing. Missiles can be launched 16 minutes from traveling or 4 minutes from the highest readiness. The second missile can be launched in less than a minute once the first missile is launched. The Transport Erector Launcher TEL, vehicle uses MZKT-7930 Astrolog 8x8 high mobility chassis. It is powered by the UMZ-846 diesel engine, developing 500 horsepower. The TEL vehicle has good cross-country mobility. It can be airlifted by an N-124 transport aircraft. The Iskander TEL is supported by a reloading vehicle based on the same 8x8 chassis, which carries two reload missiles. Full missile system also includes command vehicle, information preparation vehicle, maintenance and repair vehicle and life support vehicle. All of these vehicles are based on Kamaz 6x6 trucks. Interestingly Armenia fired its Iskander missiles during the 2020 Nagorno-Karabakh war with Azerbaijan. However Armenian prime minister claimed that these missiles did not explode upon reaching their targets. This was either related to defective missiles or Russia on purpose delivered to Armenia missiles that were not combat capable. During the 2022 Russian invasion to Ukraine Russia widely used Iskander missiles with conventional warheads and depleted their stockpiles. Ukrainian MOD reports that out of 900 Iskander missiles produced only 124 were left after seven months of war. There were numerous cases when Iskander missiles would crash immediately after their launch. So there are definitely issues with their production quality or quality of the components, such as guidance system.